What is going on everybody? So today we're gonna to talk about four things that you don't need to worry about whenever you get to basic training. So the first thing and the biggest thing by far that a lot of people are worried about whenever they go to basic training and they get there is they're worried about failing. They're worried that maybe they're not I don't know, smart enough on military topics or they're not physically fit enough or they're not whatever, they're not gonna pass the obstacle course or they're worried about the shooting. They're worried about something. There's a lot of people out there who are actually worried about failing basic training. And I've talked about the only way to fail basic training is to quit and everything like that. And I still believe that that's true. And I believe that that's one of the things that you don't need to worry about. Obviously, basic training is gonna be something that's difficult. It's probably going to be the most difficult time of your life that you've experienced up to this point because most people are probably, you know, 18 to 21 years old or so whenever they go to basic training. So there's not all kinds of stuff that you've gone through that's been super difficult. So basic training is probably gonna be one of the most difficult things you've ever done, but you don't need to worry about, you know, passing it. Like you're going to pass it, you know, the drill sergeants, are gonna do their job in turning you into, uh, turning you from a civilian into a soldier. That is their job as drill sergeants. They're to make you good soldiers and stuff like that. So, so all you have to do is just make sure you wake up on time, you go to the right place, right time, right uniform, do what the drill sergeants say, and you're going to pass. Yes, you might struggle maybe at the obstacle course. Maybe, yes, maybe you might struggle at the PT test at the beginning, but if you do your part, uh, if you do what the drill sergeant tells you to do, you're gonna go through basic training. You're gonna end up passing the PT test because the only one that you have to pass is the final PT test. You can fail every PT test up until the final one. You just gotta pass the final one. And even if you fail that, you'll be able to retest on it. So that's the first thing you don't need to worry about is failing basic training. The next thing that I get a lot of questions and, and things that people are worried about whenever it comes to basic training is making the drill sergeant just mad, right? They're worried about doing something that's gonna make the drill sergeants upset and then it's gonna cause either them to get smoked or the whole platoon to get smoked. And the reason I say not to be worried about this is because you're pretty much gonna get smoked no matter what. Yes, you should obviously do your part uh, and not doing anything stupid that's going to get everybody smoked, but you don't need to be, you know, super stressing about it yourself, right? Because it's just gonna happen, you know, as much as some of you watch my videos, as much information that I can give you guys, that's gonna help you guys out and might help some other people out. But when you go to basic training, you know, there's gonna be between 40 and 60 people in your platoon. Not everybody's gonna be, you know, really trying to, to do a good job. So there's gonna be people, no matter what, no matter what platoon you in, you're in, just basically no matter what, there's gonna be people who are going to screw up. There's gonna be those guys that just seem to just do things to where it makes the drill sergeant just mad. Then you get the whole platoon smoke because what happens at basic training is you don't really you don't really get individual punishment. You know, every now and then you might do something and a drill sergeant might just tell you to drop and do some push-ups or whatever, or they might pull you to the side and do something. The vast majority of the time, somebody's gonna screw up and then what's gonna happen is is everybody in the platoon is gonna get smoked. And if you have no clue what I mean by getting smoked, it's just physical punishment, doing some push-ups, doing some you know, V-ups, doing something, maybe holding yourself in the squat position for like 30 minutes or whatever. It's just repetitive exercises, and I've talked about that before in the past. So, you know, if somebody does something, everybody gets screwed over for it. So you don't really need to be stressing too much about, you know, getting the drill sergeants mad because it's it's gonna happen. You know, yes, you can go throughout basic training and you might not get the drill sergeant just individually pissed off at you. That's something I guess that you could think about, but don't worry too much about getting the drill sergeants upset as far as getting the entire platoon smoked. But I also don't want y'all to kind of twist that and think, oh, I can just do whatever I want because the whole platoon is gonna get smoked anyways. That's not how you should look at it. Just don't stress out about it. Now I'm gonna change gears here a little bit as far as the topic goes and tell you guys that one of the things that you don't need to worry about when you're at basic training is home, right? There's a lot of people who maybe have wife and kids or you know, husband and kids or, or whatever circumstance, boyfriend, girlfriend at home or just you know your normal family or whatever and they're at home and you're worried about something and that will tear down a lot of people. It will make a lot of people get upset because they're so worried about home and when you're at basic training, you can't do anything about that. You know, one of the things that, I guess this is kind of like a life tip is to not worry about things that you can't control or you have no control over. And yes, it can be difficult, but people will really struggle with that at basic training. If you know, maybe they left for basic training and then their spouse had a fight or something like that. Like, you're not gonna be able to control the things that are going on at home, so you don't need to worry about 
the things that are going on at home while you're at basic training because what you need to be doing is focusing on the task at hand. Focus on getting through basic training. Focus on passing basic training. Focus on doing the best job that you can in order to make yourself the best soldier that you can. So that's my little tip for those of you that have things going on at home. Maybe it could be your business or something. Just make sure you get all everything you need to have set up and done ahead of time. Make sure you know you can get your rent and everything paid before you go because you're gonna get paid auto pay every first and 15th of the month or whatever. So just make sure you got everything planned out so that whenever you get to basic training, you don't have to worry about anything and you can just really focus on basic. And the last thing that you don't need to be worried about when you're at basic training is you're worried that basic training is how the rest of your military career is going to be. That is not true. There's a lot of people who, when they get to basic training, they want to quit. They want to they want to get out of the army. They're like, the army is not for me. But basic training is not really like how the army is going to be. Whether you're going active duty, National Guard, or Army Reserves, or any other reserves, and or guard in any other branch, the basic training portion is not how the rest of your military experience is going to be. It is supposed to be a little bit more difficult than your day-to-day -day life. You know, whenever you get in a garrison environment, which is kind of like an office environment, if that's gonna be your job where you're gonna be doing basically paperwork and stuff like that, like obviously it's not gonna be necessarily as difficult as basic training. Yes, there might be you know bits and pieces of your career at times where it's just gonna be a really hard experience, but basic training itself, a lot of people that go to basic training they get, they get worried, they're, they get demotivated because they're like, this sucks, I don't wanna do this, I don't wanna be here. And they think that this is how the rest of their you know, four year contract is gonna be. So they signed up for a four year contract and they're just like so upset because they're just like, basic sucks, like why did I do this? Because this is not what I wanna do. So my little thing for you guys not to worry about is that the rest of your military career is basically going to be as difficult as basic training because it's not going to be. Yes, you're gonna have a couple of good memories and stuff at basic. Yes, you're gonna have a couple of bad memories and stuff at basic, but I would say the the very, the vast majority of the good things that are gonna to happen to you in your military career is going to be after basic training. Now, when, once you get to AIT, it eases up a little bit. It's not as stressful or anything like as the basic training portion of your, your initial training contract, whatever it is. But once you get out into the real army or once you get to your actual unit and the guard of the reserves, like it's just gonna be a lot better than the basic training environment. So just keep that in mind whenever you're there. So if you're just, if you think to yourself, you know, like a lot of people will say, you know, they join the military and then everybody reaches a point when they're like, why in the world did I join? Like, why did I do this? Me personally, I've never thought that. Like I've never thought, oh my gosh, this sucks. Why did I actually join the military? I cannot believe that I did this. I have never thought that. But some people will say that you will think that and it'll happen like when you first get to basic training or during the shark attack the first day, you will think to yourself, why did I do this? But if you think in the back of your head, you know, this is almost like an initiation into the military, then it's really not so bad. And once you just pass this, everything else is gonna be great. Well, maybe not great. I don't wanna make the military out to seem like it is just all sunshine and rainbows and everything, but it's not gonna be as bad as basic training. So yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope maybe it eased a couple of your worries. Maybe you're worried about passing basic training. Maybe you're worried about some of the things that I talk about. Uh, and Or maybe you're worried about you know basic training being like the rest of the military career. Maybe that would have been you. And now that you've watched this, you can just be like thinking, man, Matt told me this and I shouldn't be worried about this. So hopefully this helped you guys out. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. That would be awesome. If you want to stick out some more videos, subscribe button. That would be even better. If you guys haven't hit that notification bell button, go ahead and hit the notification bell button. It's just a little bell that's next to the subscribe button. So if you haven't hit the subscribe button, you can hit that, then the bell, because that's what you gotta do now. So if you guys wanna do that, that would be awesome. You wanna join the notification notification squad i cannot talk right now if you aren't following me on instagram and snapchat social media links are right here hope you have an amazing day and i will see you uh, later Try.